in our opener today, we saw a problem like this, where we had the variable in different places, and we had to deal with that problem before we could get the variable by itself. Remember, our goal is to get the variable by itself, and when the variable is in more than one place, that gets a little tricky. Okay, it's hard to get two different things by themselves. So we have to get the A by itself, but to do that, we have to get it in one place first. So what we're going to be talking about today is solving equations when we have the variable in different places and how we're going to deal with that. All right, so what would we do to get A in one place here? What do I have to do so that I can get it by itself? Carl? Add the numbers. What we're going to do here is we're going to combine like terms. All right, and this is something that we're going to do a lot. When we have the variable in different places, if they're on the same side of the equal sign, if you have like terms, you can combine them. So 2a and 3a are like terms since they're the same variable. 2a plus 3a is 5a. All right, so that's a pretty simple solution here. If you have the variable in different places, you can combine them if they're like terms. Um, on the other side, we bring down our negative 15, and then to get a by itself, we divide by 5. All right, so we already went through a problem just like that. Um, and it, it solved our problem for us. Okay, it got the A in one place. When we combine like terms, instead of having the A in two different places like we did in the problem here, now we have it in one place and we can get it by itself. Um, so there, there's a couple of things that we're going to have to do. Sometimes we're, we're going to have to add like terms like we did in the last one. Um, and, and then other times we're going to have to do something else before we combine like terms. Uh, because we're going to run into something else that we saw in the opener today where we have a variable in parentheses. All right, so when we're solving equations with a variable in more than one place, and we're just going to be dealing with equations where the variable's all on the same side of the equal sign for now, um, these are the things we're going to have to do. The first thing we do is just simplify each side of the equation. All right, we're not changing the value. So this is not part of the golden rule. It's not one of those things that we're doing it on one side, so we have to do it on the other. We're just simplifying each side. All right, so we simplify the left side. We simplify the right side. Now, there's two things we need to do to simplify each side. One of them is going to be to get rid of parentheses. How do we get rid of parentheses? Starts with a D. We did it. Yeah, we're going to distribute. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute anywhere we can. Okay, we don't want parentheses because when we have parentheses, it's hard to combine like terms. In fact, it's impossible to combine like terms when you have something in a parentheses that's being multiplied by something that's outside the parentheses. All right, once we get rid of parentheses, then we want to combine like terms. All right, so to simplify each side of the equation, we're going to distribute wherever it's necessary, and we're going to combine like terms. Once we do that, then all of the variables are going to be in one place. They might have started out in different places, but when we combine like terms, then they're all going to end up in one place. So now we just solve like we normally do. We solve as usual. All right, so the only difference between the equations we're going to see today and the ones we've seen before is that we're going to have to simplify uh, one side of the equation or the other before we can solve like we normally do. So we'll do the first example or two together, um, and then I'll have you try to do each example on your own before we go over it. So here's your first example, well, second example, sorry. This is example two, and we want to get the B by itself. All right, so when we write down the problem and circle our variables, you'll notice that the variable's in two different places, right? So if the variable's in different places, we have to deal with that before we can do anything else. We cannot get the B by itself if it's in two different places. So step one says simplify each side of the equation. We're going to do that by distributing. Is there anything to distribute here? No. So then we combine like terms. Are there any like terms here? Yes. Yes. We have the 3B and the 2B. What is 3B plus 2B? 5B. Okay, what about this negative 6 here? What do I do with that? Is that? That's a like term with the negative 26, so should I combine those? No. Why not? They're on different sides of the equal sign. So don't combine like terms across the equal sign. They have to stay on the same side. 
So that negative 6 will bring down on this side, and the negative 26 will bring down on this side. Okay, just like solving equations before, when we simplify, we need to do it on both sides, and we need to have, uh, we need to have something on both sides of the equal sign. Now, what am I missing here? An equal sign. All right, so I'm going to put my equal sign in there. Uh, and now this is just a two-step equation. This is what we were doing a couple weeks ago. So I want to get that b by itself here, so I need to get rid of the 5 and the negative 6. Which one should I do first? Okay, and how do we get rid of the minus 6? Plus 6. Okay, so we'll add 6 on both sides. And the minus 6 and the plus 6 cancel. We get 5b. And on the right side, negative 26 plus 6 is negative 20. All right, then we need to get rid of the 5 by dividing by 5. And when those 5s cancel, we get b equals negative 4. All right, next example. We'll do this one together also. And then after this one, I'll have you try each one on your own before we go over them. All right, so after we circle the variable here, you'll notice that the C is in two different places, right? So since the C is in two different places, we're going to have to simplify it before we can get it by itself. So what's the first thing we're going to do here? Distribute. distribute, right? So when we're simplifying each side of the equation, the first thing we do is distribute. So looking at this, I can distribute the 4 times the C and 4 times negative 3. Should I also do 4 times negative 2C? No. no, because that's not in the parentheses, right? All right, so what's 4 times C? 4C. And what's 4 times negative 3? All right, so we get 4C minus 12. And then what do I do with all that stuff I didn't distribute? We're just going to bring all that down. So we've got our minus 2C here. We've got our negative 6 over here. And we've still got our equal sign on the left. All right, so I distribute it. I still have the C in different places, though. So what else do I need to do? Combine like terms. So I've got the 4c and the minus 2c are like terms. What is 4c minus 2c? 2c. And then I cannot combine the negative 6 and the negative 12, even though they're like terms, they're on different sides of the equal sign, right? So those things we'll just bring down. So we have our minus 12 here, and we have our negative 6 here, and equal sign on the line still. Now what? Now we just solve like we normally do. So we add 12 on both sides. And when those 12s cancel on the right, we're left with 2c. When the negative 6, when 12 is added to negative 6, we get positive 6. Okay, and then what? Divide by 2. And when the 2s cancel, we get c on the right side, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. All right, I would like you to try this one on your own. So you'll notice here that we have two Ds, and so to get D by itself, we're going to have to simplify it. Uh, what's the first thing we do to simplify? Distribute. So we're going to do 5 times D and 5 times negative 2. 5 times d is 5d, and 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And then everything else just comes down, right? So we've still got our plus 6d and still got our minus 3. Now, walking around, I saw a few people did that on the right side, and that's great, but we need to make sure we do what else? Bring down our 20 and our equal sign on the left side. Every time we do something, we need to make sure that we simplify and bring down both sides. So there's nothing to simplify on the left side, so I'm just going to bring that down. So I've got 20 equals over here. So every time we do something, we get another new equation. All right, then after we distribute, then we're going to combine like terms. Now this time, we have like terms here with the 5D and the 6D, but we also have the minus 10 and the minus 3 that are like terms, right? Okay, so what is 5D plus 6D? 11D. 
And what is negative 10 minus 3? Negative 13. Okay, and then on the other side, we still have that 20. Then what? Yep, now we're just going to solve like we normally do. So we get rid of the minus 13 by adding 13. And on the right side, those 13s cancel, leaving 11D. And on the left side, 20 plus 13 is 33. Then, then what? Divide by 11. 11s cancel, leaves D equals 3. All right, example five.